morning. Happy Tuesday. It is the first time that I am vlogging since I've started the new term at King's. So yes, it is all online, but I love my four modules this term. I have corporate social responsibility, financial statement analysis, social psychology of financial markets and company law. Law is a lot of reading and that's a lot of work, but my sister and one of my home friends, they both have done law and they're really good at law. So that's quite nice that I have a bit of help for the one that I'm most unsure about. But this morning I have my corporate social responsibility presentation. So this is worth 5% of my grade, even though yes, it is the first week and we already have an assessment. That was just by luck though. To be fair, it's quite a cool presentation. So I'm not too bothered. I need to change because I can't wear this for the presentation. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> part A of CSR and now my group and I are going to go and practice our presentation so that in two hours time when we actually do it to the class and we have the timings right and stuff. So regarding the PowerPoint, should we just have one person that's doing it and then they just click through as we go along? Yeah? Okay, three, two, one, start. In terms of Carol and Wood's responsiveness, we would recommend pro action. Okay, we're at 10 minutes 30, 40. I have 15 minutes until class. If I make a quick egg noodle dish with some vegetables, I might be able to make it in like five minutes, eat it in 10, and then ready to present with my group. This also might be the biggest waste of sauce that you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> So I finished the lecture, I've not done the reading, but it's coming up to half two, so I'm gonna head out for a nice walk because I definitely got screen fatigue uh, and my eyes need to look at something that is on a screen. Huh. So I returned for my perfectly 5K timed walk, just over an hour, and now I've got my company law tutorial for an hour. I think we're getting into a weird area here. And then after that, I'm gonna go and have dinner with Nicole. We have planned to both have our fish cakes this evening so I can chuck them in my air fryer. I'm gonna do some sweet potato fries with that because they're one of your five a day. And some peppers for the biotin so that my hair can grow nice and long and strong. And that's about it. Right, okay, Dairy Girls it is. Have you watched this before? Oh yeah, I've watched it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course. So this morning I made myself a bit of a bougie breakfast. We have pancakes, blueberries, pecans and maple syrup. Today's plans consist of a lot of chores. So I thought I'll start the day out with a good treat and then, um, yeah. So first up on the list of chores, I have to do a food shop. I also need to pick up some laundry detergent because in the bottom of my wardrobe there is a huge pile of laundry amassing that needs to be washed today. You dirty pig! And then I can also do some food prepping for the next few days as well. <sighs> okay. As you can probably tell from my bright red nose, it is quite cold out today. I realise this might be my only chance coming out, so I might elongate this walk a bit, get some fresh air, I'm finally gonna pick up some spring onions from Lidl. I'm also thinking of propagating them as well so that I never have to buy them again. I honestly used to be the worst with my washing. It was only when I came to this flat, my flatmate told me I should be washing my bedding at 60 degrees or above. Nicole loves a 90 degree towel wash, but in my family, we would just chuck everything in a one hour eco wash. However, with all the germs around at the moment, I am becoming quite the laundry expert. So today I am actually working with Cleanopedia to share their wisdom with you guys. They are basically the encyclopedia of cleaning articles. I've actually used their article on how to disinfect clothes, which will be linked in the description box below. Apparently some germ spores can live indefinitely on your clothes, while the cold virus can last around seven days, which is grim and we don't want that. I have learned from my past lazy mistakes. I've separated my wash by colour. The key is apparently not to overload your washes and not just because London flats are notoriously hard to dry your laundry in but because it allows the cleaning product to easily move around the drum. 
60 Celsius. It's on for two and a half hours. In the meantime, I am gonna start cleaning my room. There is something about student flats in London. There is always dust. I guess it's because like living in flats or something. I do this about every two weeks. That's how quickly this place gets dusty. Time to do some cooking. If I could, I'd change your world. Make you proud, be my girl. Do my best to stick around. Pick you up when you feel down. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow! Okay, I love the white. It was perfect timing. My washing finished just as I finished eating my lunch. I'm very excited to have it tomorrow because it was delicious. I got a little bit cold and I have put on my dressing down. The heating's on so that I can uh, dry my bed sheets, but it's five o'clock and I would love to put in my crispy aromatic duck. It takes 40 minutes, so my plan is by 40 minutes I will have this tutorial work done and I'll be ready to sit down for a lovely dinner. Duck is my favourite meat and pancakes are the best way to eat duck. <gasps> this means I will have had pancakes twice in a day. It also does feed two people so I'm saving half for tomorrow lunch. nothing beats having a wash getting into clean pajamas and then getting into fresh bed sheets also you might be wondering what is this turban towel concoction thing that's on my head it's amazing I used to have this when I was younger and I had swimming lessons but oh my god it dries your hair so quickly my mum always tells me if I go to bed with the wet hair I'll get a cold and I also don't want to ruin my new pillows and get them all wet I do have a towel that I'll probably lay down If you can tell from my zombie appearance, I did the same thing again last night. I was up quite late doing some reading. Um, I feel good for finishing the reading, but I also am really tired. <laughs> I need to film a scrapbook video, which is always really fun. So I'm gonna go and get breakfast and set up shop. You'll get the lovely behind the scenes of it all. Okay vlog, so I'm gonna sit on the floor, get cramp in my legs for a couple of hours. I've put it on this board because I've just put on this lovely white new bedding and I don't wanna get spray adhesive and muck all onto it. You might be wondering why I haven't done it on the desk. That's because I can't fit this tripod over it or around it um, and the lighting is actually best here. Photos here, washi tapes, basically my adhesives. This is to do my titles, fonts, all of that stuff and this is my backgrounds. I currently have a dilemma of do I go for a green page or like a pinky red page. I'm just going to go and have some lunch now. I'm going to heat up my couscous. Hopefully it will give me some good energy because at this moment in time I'm definitely uh, low. But I'm really happy with my childhood page and I did a page dedicated to my mum and dad. I was FaceTiming them a lot and making sure that they like the page as well because that's what's most important to me. So as you can see, it is a little bit darker now. It's quarter past four. Uh, that means that my scrapbooking sessions come to 
have an end. In the daylight, I was able to do three double page spreads and I am so happy with them. I forgot how enjoyable scrapbooking is. This is a little sneak peek. I did a page dedicated to my mum and dad. Out of all the three pages that I've done today, my mum is in every single one. I don't know how that happened. When this video comes out, I will link it in the description box below, but in the meantime, keep your eyes peeled. Now it is time to tidy up the mess that I have created. It's crispy aromatic duck time. just as beautiful as it was yesterday. So it's got to that time around 7 p.m. where I usually get into pajamas and then do work in bed. This is kind of a new routine that I think I've picked up in the past week or so. I don't hate it because I feel like I'm quite productive between the hours of 9 p.m. to midnight. There are no distractions, it's quite quiet, and if I go to bed at midnight and I wake up at 7.38, that's still decent sleep. I would definitely finish off social psychology, but whether I finish off financial statement analysis, that might be left till tomorrow, but I think I could do them both tonight. Happy birthday to you. Right. Happy birthday. I'll tell you how it goes. <sighs> We made it, Friday. I didn't think we would. Today is my dad's birthday, hence why I called him up on FaceTime this morning and wished him a happy birthday. I painted his card on Monday, actually, just before I started vlogging properly. And I think he's gonna open that in the evening. Our family always paint cards. We do it for birthdays and Christmases. So that's a nice little child tradition. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, just because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get a rook now uh, today. And I don't think I'll be talking much for the rest of today and I will probably also be in pain. I've got two classes today so I will just be mumbling my way through those but I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel and I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye!